to just dress up your uh, mechanism. Put, make sure you put your rubber shock absorbers in. Your cable that goes to the spindle motor, make sure make sure it's put on the right way. Carefully thread your ribbon cables through. Just work on it to get it positioned. Put a couple of uh, loosely put a couple of the screws back in the transport so that you can align the ribbon cables if you need to. There's one thing you gotta be careful of. Don't cross thread these screws in the transport. It's easy to do because they're not tapped. They don't have, they're not tapered. They don't have good starting ability. Loosely. On the back, you gotta thread this you gotta thread your stepper motor ribbon cable. It's not important at this point to make sure that it's routed properly. You'll have a chance to do that before you close it. Make sure that the make sure that the uh, spindle motor cable is properly routed. Put your cable for the laser back in later. Okay, finish putting in the transport screws back in. Get the transport screws sufficiently tightened. You don't need to crank on them, just make sure that they are adequately tightened. And then you put your little plastic arms that lift the transport up put those in snap it until it clicks same with the other one slide it until it clicks turn the mechanism over This little pivot arm, we'll put that back in. All you need to do is make sure that these that these two uh, catches go into the plastic arms that you just installed. It's easy as pie. Secure that with the special screw that's one of a kind. Turn them back over. Install this little board with the switches. All that stuff is put in and we can start reassembling the bottom part of this transport. Make sure make sure these uh, make sure these gray pieces of plastic still exist and they're still properly in position. Secured with one silver screw of the plastic variety. When you first come in, take note as to how this little catch is set up here. I keep flip-flopping between up and down, and I've made my final decision. This thing should indeed be just like that, because this... This thing used this thing worked just before I took that top off. Ugh. What you gotta also make sure of when you're reassembling it is make sure that things line up. Make sure this thing is all flush. If it is not flush, just move this just move this out like that. Things will click and line up and it'll force this thing to it'll force this little catch to go down if it's up. Because when you let go of it, it'll it'll take this thing back to the left. It's a pretty shitty mechanism if you ask me.
Once you're satisfied with that, secure the top to, with the five screws, the five black screws. Make sure you put your hub clamp back on. Once you've got this thing screwed down, test your test with your CD again. If it stops right here, you got a problem. Make sure that all the cables, the stepper motor, the one for the laser, the one for the spindle motor, are all under routed underneath their catches here. The stepper motor one has three of them and the laser and the spindle motor have one. This cover needs to come on from the rear and then you route your cables around the front of it. I make this mistake every time. There you go. Put that back on. Make sure there's there are little tabs on the back of that cover that go over the plastic part. So if you don't if you don't put this cover on from the rear those catches will be in the wrong place and it'll just be all funky. Okay, once you got that done, plug the plug the cable for the drive motor back in for this for the CD take up drive motor. Plug this little ribbon cable back into that special board. Secure it. You can put a you can put a piece of tape on here if you want. It's really not necessary. Ah. Again, make sure your cable routing over here is correct. Mine wasn't. And there we go. And now it's time to put the Blu-ray controller back on. If it doesn't cooperate with you, make sure this little shield is lined up with the holes. <clears throat> make sure this cable for the sensor goes in or else it won't sense that there's a disc. And then put the top cover back on. <clears throat> it should just interlock in these tabs here. You'll know if it doesn't fit, it'll be all cockeyed. And then you can secure the bottom, or you can secure that uh, top cover with the three black screws in the front. You'll have to squeeze this, the front of this top cover into place to get the holes to line up. So just be careful about that. Just make sure the holes line up. Secure your secure the rear with the metal fine threaded screw on the right hand side or the side that has that goes into metal and this uh, silver colored plastic type screw that goes in the other side that threads into plastic. And at that point, the unit's ready to put in the machine.